What's up everyone? Today we're going over how to make a morita chili sauce. Welcome to Mexican Cooking Academy where we celebrate Mexican food culture and heritage. Over the last four years, I've developed a really intense passion for Mexican food. So in September 2020, I decided to make the move from California down to Mexico, pursue that passion and bring it to the rest of the world. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Today we are making Morita chili salsa. This is a very easy salsa to make and for this recipe you're going to want to have two ripe tomatoes, half of a white onion, two morita chilies, two grams of cumin seeds pulverized, and about 10 grams of salt. As always you don't have to write these down, I'm gonna post it down in the description right below. And before we go further, if you love Mexican food as much as I do, then hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. That's gonna send more of that content your way. Start by roasting the cumin seeds in the pan and you're going to know when they're done, when the fragrance starts to become noticeable and they start to turn a golden color. Next, because I forgot to turn on the camera for this step, actually what you want to do is bring a pot of water to boil and we're gonna add the morita chilies right into that water and we're gonna let them hang out there for the next 5-10 minutes while we get the rest of the ingredients ready. Meanwhile, cut the tomatoes and the onions roughly in half and add them to a hot pan. They're gonna start to caramelize here and what I've done is also added a little bit of spray oil to them to help aid in that process. The non-stick spray is gonna help us achieve that really deep golden color as well as a really rich flavor. Then combine all of these ingredients in a blender. So add in your morita chilies and add in the tomato and the onion into a blender and pulse everything until it's a perfectly smooth consistency. Finally, add salt to your salsa to finish it off, enhance all the flavors and make it all sing and dance for you. And that's it, you're ready to enjoy your salsa. This salsa is really wonderful for making chilaquiles for breakfast if you're doing that. And if you're wondering how to make that, I have a recipe for that and I'll have a link down in the description. But also you can go to my channel, Mexican Cooking Academy, and you can find more details about how to make the chilaquiles. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and hit the like button. And also go to MexicanCookingAcademy.com and sign up for my newsletter. That's going to give you first look at all the new content that I'm posting. And it's going to give you access to some exclusive content as well. If you have questions or comments about this recipe or any of the other ones, leave a comment down below and let me know. I get to all the comments and respond to everyone. That's all I got for you today. Until next time, live long and prosper.